Hi, I'm Jenny Florence from the A to Z of Emotional Health Online Library. Um, I'm here today with Gavin. Now, Gavin, I know you've had some ups and downs, some emotional ups and downs in your life. Um, how, as a man, has it been for you to talk about those things? Has it been easy? Have you felt that that's okay for guys to speak about their emotions? Uh, no, not in the slightest, to be honest. It's, uh, mm. on a personal level, it's mostly one of the toughest things to, um, to approach and accept yourself. Um, firstly, to accept it yourself, but then to feel confident enough to go and, and seek help and, and speak to people. No, no, very difficult. I can understand that. I've actually met um, numerous men who felt in exactly the same position. They know that they don't feel okay, but they don't actually feel as though it's okay to speak out. Yeah, totally. I mean, that, that's the hitting the nail on the head. Totally that. You you just, you know, there's this thing where it's, you know, it's maybe it's a generation thing more. You know, I'd like to think, you know, the next generation, hopefully with, with the work that you're doing and others, it might not be so difficult for them, um, but certainly my generation and, and I think maybe my father's generation even more so. I would actually really agree with you on that point. I think you've hit the nail on the head, but generationally, I don't think we've actually learned that it's okay to speak about emotions. And the more that we can bring this into the public arena, the better. Because actually, as far as I'm concerned, life is not an intellectual process. We are alive, feeling human beings. Absolutely. I mean, it's my, uh, my partner now, she'll, she'll joke with me, and it's always the stereotypical thing that will come out when I am being emotional, because I'm very emotional. She'll go, oh, you, oh, you big woman. So straight away, those things are just there. They're inbred in people. That's, you know, that's yeah, the perception it, I, of it. It's you're being, you know, too feminine, this or that. If you, if you show emotions, be it, you know, happiness or, you know, sadness, it's, it's or being fearful. Um, you know, we're, we're not allowed to be men, apparently. Isn't it interesting? I think you've also raised a very interesting point because I think as women, sometimes we actually contribute to the very problem that we don't really want. So we kind of want our guys, <clears throat> we want our guys to be more emotional, we want them to be more emotional lit lit with, with their literacy, we want them to be able to talk about their feelings. At the same time, we come out with those kind of quips, oh, you're being a bit of a woman, mm. that actually kind of like cut that off straight away mm. the moment it starts to appear. So I, I think those kinds of things are quite ingrained. And, and I know earlier in our conversation, we touched on the fact that the press actually don't necessarily help with this. No. You know. totally, I totally agree. I mean, get, getting back to that, we, I think women want and deserve men to be more mm -hmm. emotionally connected or be more metrosexual, whatever you yeah. want to say. Uh, I think it will be too much to say it's the woman's fault, but it's our, because of that, we think, as men, we think, oh, um, it's going to mean that we are not masculine anymore. Um, we can still struggle with life and it, and own up to struggling with life doesn't mean we we've got to go around being you know we don't have to cry we don't you know it's just we have to accept that you know we're human and, and you know we, we struggle like everyone else it's interesting because i would say in my experience actually um, being in touch with your emotions is quite a quite a strength ultimately um, i don't think i would say it, that know, as well yeah, I, I <laughs> Now, now I can now say that. Now you would. Would you have said that five years ago, ten years ago? No, no, not at all. No, not in the, you know, in the, I used to be in a very male-orientated uh, environment, and um, no, that would be a weakness without a shadow of a doubt. I can, I can, yeah. I don't even have to think about that. It would be a weakness, or perceived as a weakness. What, I what say. changed things for you? Um, I would say... I think it was really just realising I've got so low, uh, you know, on, you know, to the point where I was questioning, you know, do I want to be here anymore? Um, and luckily, I was at my with my mother and sister, and you know, they made me really seek help. And then soon, soon as I made that step right. and accepted it, mm -hmm. and then you realise when you do start reaching out, you're not on your own. You're not this you know, exception to the rule. If anything, with the way life is nowadays, you know, there's so many more people going through it and you don't feel like you're a failure. Do you know what? I think you've just given people the most valuable piece of advice ever, which is 
sometimes we have to hit rock bottom before we can come out the other side. It would be lovely if we didn't have to and if we all felt perfectly okay about seeking help, you know, really just to help us with life's ups and downs. And, and I don't actually, if I'm honest, know anyone in my life who's not had some kind of challenge at some point that they've needed to face because life yeah. can be quite tough for most mm. of us. Oh, it is. But actually, what you've really, really highlighted is if in that moment you can speak to someone who can help you to reach out and find the right kind of support, actually you can come out the other side and you can become more than you were before because of it. I would say, yeah, it's, it, it's been the making of me. I, I think people, you know, I think I have struggled uh, without knowing all through my adult life and, and uh, I, I was fortunate enough to play professional sport at the, at the highest level and people because of that, people accept your learnt behaviour and the way you deal with it. And you know, because you're, you know, you're talented at, at a certain sport. Um, and people used to walk on eggshells to see how I was coping. You know, um, and it, it wasn't right. It wasn't right then. And I was still doing that up until about two years ago. And it's, you know, it's now people, be it uh, new partners or my family or my friends are getting that better me now. It's a bit, it, in, in the strangest way, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I've been fortunate enough to come back from that edge. You know, a lot of people, unfortunately, very sadly aren't. No. I mean, I am delighted, and in knowing you as well, albeit briefly, um, I can see how much your life has changed because mm. of those things. Mm. So thank you so much, because I think your contribution and this conversation will help no end of Well, brilliant. That's, that's so all you Thank you, you very know, much. No problems. Pleasure. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>